Good day YouTube. Today I want to talk a little bit about cheating in ESO. Uh, as a form of caveat right at the start, of course I'm going to say that I do not cheat. I know very little about the topic. I am curious about it however because I came across a Redditor who wrote some insightful stuff about it. I'm going to quote what he said and perhaps I could see some more comments from people in the community to uh, further elaborate on some of these points, right? I don't know a lot about it, so I'm just laying out the stuff out there in a transparent manner and hopefully you can have a healthy conversation about these things because it helps if we know what, what the cheaters are doing, uh, what constitutes as a cheat and we can go into the game with more knowledge and perhaps involve Zoss about bugs, glitches and cheating if necessary. Okay, so without further ado, I'd like to go in. Uh, the very first point that uh, this Redditor has mentioned is about exploiting a uh, gear, Nuna Tech. Now this, this is a particular gear set that you get from the Imperial City boss, right? The, the, that giant ice monster guy. So um, matching Nuna Tech with Warden Ultimate can literally make it so you cannot move with no counter. Now I'm going to just jump ahead and assume that the Warden Ultimate he's talking about is probably Arctic Blast, which is something that uh, costs you to... It, it gives healing to the user and as well as a really deadly CC. So I'm wondering if anybody out there have actually have experience with this combo and can confirm if it really is buggy to the extent where like what this Redditor has mentioned. So moving on to the second point, um, this is with regards to Dragon Knight, where apparently two people working together, you pop your corrosive and then the other player could transfer their ultimate to you using a mythic and then you pop a dragon leap while this corrosive is running and this can delete the enemy. Okay, I'm not a Dragon Knight player so uh, again, members from the community can contribute in this uh, as to how this is a glitch and how this can actually be exploited by Dragon Knight users. Now the first two points that I mentioned, one is a Warden class and one is a Dragon Knight class, right? I do have plenty of experience where Gameplay against these two classes are extremely challenging, extremely broken even, and uh, the kind of glitches and experience that this guy has mentioned, I have experienced them firsthand. Without too much knowledge in cheating, to me it's just, it felt like these two classes are meant to be overpowered in PvP. It, it is to encourage people to play these two classes for PvP. So I, I didn't really register the fact that there are any glitches or there's anything broken in the coding or there's something that is that can be exploitable, right? I just thought that yeah, maybe these two classes are naturally strong in, in that sense and the gameplay and the design is every bit intentional in this way. So this um, particular thread and what the Redditor mentioned actually made me take a different perspective and that people could be exploiting something that isn't really meant to be designed this way. Right? Drop in your comments. I think this is good to have a little talk about this. Okay, moving on. The next point is about the uh, macros. Now, I've heard a little about this. I think macros are essentially like um, coding and stuff that you install so that uh, with the click of one button, you can um, execute several actions at one go. Correct me if I'm wrong, this is this is my basic understanding. Without knowing too much about it, I just did a Google search on macros and ESO related macros and I did find this page. And frankly, I do not know what the hell is going on over here. Okay, I, I looked through the thing. They kind of like using words that I have seen before. Templar, domain, nightblade, rotation on stamina, nightblade, blah, blah, blah. But I have absolutely no idea what this thing is about. And if you ask me to install and to actually utilize this, I, I have no idea how to move forward. Again, if you do have any knowledge about this, all right, uh, please do share with the community. I think it is necessary for PvP players like myself to know that these stuff exists and they're out there. And whether they are currently working or they've been disabled in the last few patches, we do not know. Okay, so if you encounter people that have insane light attack combos, then then it could be down to macros, right? Also, I, I think I came across some content creators who have mentioned about this. I vaguely remember, I, th I think, was it JTK Gaming? Or maybe um, Sawman that mentioned and spoken about macros in the past, right? So, yeah, it's, it's something worth to, to have a discussion about. Um, macros, as um, spoken by this uh, Redditor, said that it's 
essentially very difficult to detect and of course where macros are detected it is against the terms and conditions of the game and you will get your account permanently banned so is it a case where the macros have advanced and evolved in such a way that it's almost impossible for a source to be able to detect the macros being used or has all the macros currently been disabled and taken care of i do not know who knows right so yeah and for the very last point uh lag switches this is new to me i've never heard about it but the way that it's been described right it felt very familiar i i definitely have experienced this kind of a imba um, gameplay experience when i pvp against certain people in eso and normally i just chalk it off to my southeast asian uh, lag going against uh, somebody who's from europe okay so essentially i did a bit of uh, reading up and I think on the ESO forum, somebody gave quite a good detailed explanation on what a lag switch is. So I just quote the first line in layman terms, a lag switch is a piece of hardware that can be used to cause momentarily interruptions in your network connection. So it is something that uh, can disrupt your opponent's internet connection and make it lag, I believe. So coming back to the Redditor's post, I think he made a point whereby um, the person who used lag switch and make you uh, lose your data input for about three seconds so as you are hammering your keyboard for three seconds none of your commands are actually going through whereas his commands are going through so by the end of the third second you're gonna be hit by an entire combo of his attacks while yours don't land does that sound familiar that sounds damn fucking familiar in a lot of my pvp experiences when i'm going against someone and and none of my combos seem to be going off for whatever particular reason and then I die within the next instant I could see all his chain effects right his light attacks the AOEs the stun and everything all happening very quickly within a very compressed window and um, multiple encounters with the same person result in the same result so very first hand my, my assumption would be that this guy's from europe right and, and he's be, probably be pay, playing with a ping like 60 to 80 against my 200 ping and so this is just the the reality of geography but upon reading this hmm, it kind of throws a conspiracy theory spanner into the works and am i actually been playing against people who have been manipulating lag switches who have uh, somehow they they have the knowledge of this and you know they've been using it to their advantage so if you know anything about this right please do share in your comments um feel free to to just comment i i hope that there's more information about this out there and uh everybody can just learn from this okay that's all from me signing off thank you very much have a good day